Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to 2024 readings. A lot of you have been asking to do a reading for the next year. Here we are having three blessings or three major events that you can't miss in the 2024. Let's see, loves, what are those are and how they can be there for you. And of course, my resonate with you, my do not. Take it accordingly. If resonates, if this is something here you are looking for, please let us know as well. Share your experience, your feedback. And let's see. Can Sarians in 2024, three blessings, three major events that you definitely can't miss. The first one second one and the third one so let's begin loves what you can't miss definitely for this year the first one we have seven of wands seven of wands i feel here you you will find yourself in a situation that is kind of there's no way back it's only to go forward and to stick with that forward movement. You know, there's a saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's kind of a thing. But I feel here there will be also a struggle because there's some kind of intense, whatever here you do, it's intense, or whatever you are going to do will feel pretty intense, sometimes exhausting, sometimes it will feel like there's no more energy. But indeed here, there is something you need to, it's more likely you want to share that to yourself, that you can be much better, that you are not weak, that you are stronger. For some of you, it's something here about your work. You, you need to prove your skills or you need to improve your skills or you want to improve your skills. And there is could be competition, but it's more likely you you want to do that, but is nobody requires that, but it's for you. For some of you, you know, like um, you want to see improvement from let's say twenty percent to seventy percent. If, for example, you are in sales, you you want to see your progress, you want to see your improvement. Not necessary because of others. I don't feel this is required. There's something here is not required, but this is your goal. I want to improve with this percentage or I want to improve this. I want to show myself that I can more. There's something here about you can more. It's intense. It's sometimes like a struggle, but definitely feel like you... It's not like you work under the pressure. No, I don't feel uh, any any push here. It's just kind of you. I want to improve. I want to show this, um, you know, not routine, but, but improvement of yourself to better, to quicker, to faster. And it's kind of feel like for some of you, you might feel that the generation that comes in, they are, they will be smarter. And indeed they will. But there is something here you want to catch up and you don't want to get behind. You don't want to be behind. You want to be a few steps forward to whomever it's there or around there. Let's see more about it. Queen of Wands. Four of Swords. Two of Wands. Definitely here, this is a this is a great improvement that you do. For some of you, it's about your um, your own body. Even you definitely have a plan, and I feel here this plan will go to the distance. Could be your own body, could be your own home, could be your own family, even your finances. I feel here the results also will look pretty great. However, Spirit says, when you need to rest, there's some kind of um, schedule you are going to make. 
and spirit says based on the schedule make sure you include the rest healing and other practices for rest because something here feels quite insane for many like somebody here my my share a plan for i want my you know beauty routine or hair routine or body routine or exercise or work there's cer certain things here like you you could do in a day so many things that somebody could do that in in couple days so this is some some kind of record for yourself I hope you're not playing for um, the world record something here because some of you definitely is like you are you are in a competition with your own self kind of a set kind of a thing here but there's certain things here you want to do in your future or distant future and whatever you do this year or this time you have this you know you could you could enroll in a program of some kind and you're gonna keep the track it's for your distant future there's something here about you you want to do and you definitely will the next event blessing that you can't miss this year or you don't want to miss this year it's eight of pentacles again work speaking of for some of you it's study as well or you can work you can study you can do both or you can build something here on your own but i see you investing your time something meaningful for some of you definitely this is um long hours long time it's kind of you dedicate yourself very much for something that is definitely to make progress in whatever the progress is that for you but also i feel here you you don't feel like somebody pu again i don't see somebody pushing you like it could be a passion of yours or you find passion in something or there's a hobby in something you do but it seems here you definitely invest the time into the skills the learning whatever here improvement is you you definitely invest in it for some of you it could be a hobby you invest in something or a craft of some kind whatever that is i feel here you it's not like you invest in but you're passionate about it you want it to look at this nine of cups king of wands for some of you you want to work for yourself or you want to be your own boss it's kind of uh, i'm i'm hearing here if if you are not gonna struggle two years you can struggle all life there's something here about you and i feel here you will be quite successful whatever that is will be um, a time when you will take um, your flight kind of to your success to your adventure however look at this loves nine of cups is like it's like you you could be a leader whatever you are but you enjoy what you're doing for some of you you are um, getting out from your uh, comfort zone because you know you you deserve better you want better and you need to be better and i feel here even though you will be quite successful for some of you there is a um, could be even a family business where you want to get attention to someone in particular but not get attention with you know certain you know small things but it's kind of based on the energy you give out there yes we do have the queen and the king of wands here it's like based on your actions you bring someone's energy but also from the queen of wands to the king of wands so you are going to the next level of your greatness which is quite beautiful whatever energy here you are investing in whatever it is it's kind of you 
there's something here for some of you, you invest in some kind of passive income, but it's not going to become passive, will be active and passive, will be both. And I feel here you will have only to benefit from, which is amazing. The third blessing or event that you can't miss this year of 2024, we have the Ten of Wands. This is about burnout, loves, I'm hearing. Because for some of you, if you're not going to have some kind of balance between whatever you do or how you do, it's a very active, busy year for some of you. Very, very busy. At the same time, productive. Don't get me wrong. But Spirit says, even though you need to take care of your sleep or your health or to find the way to get some rest or to get some time for you. You will be very, this is more like an extroverted Cancerian here, out and about. There's an event, I'm going there. There is improvement. There is more work and I can benefit more money. I'm going there. There is a person out there so I can learn. There is a workshop. I'm going to go. There is a new course and there is free or there is cheap or I'm going to learn it. Like you are, it's kind of you, your energy is come, kind of like from everywhere. And at the end, Spirit says, learn to, to gather energy from the things you do, not to lose your energy from the things you do. So this is about your um, your health, your ways, and n no excesses. Because for some of you, you might go into you know drinking too much coffee or too much energy drinks, or there's some some kind of um, too much of something, some kind of abuse that might not lift your energy or your potential but might put you to rest certain things so there's something here you don't need to push you too much it's good to know your limits but i feel here there is a cancerian who who feels like if i can do more and more and more then i'll do it but spirit says find some kind of balance in those things Let's see one more card here. Nine of Wands. I feel here someone here might even tell you certain things and you don't want to listen to them. Either you are stubborn, either you, you feel that like, what are you talking about? Or you have no idea what you're talking about. I feel here there's someone here who sees you whatever you do. Okay. And you feel that this is necessary for whatever you do. Hierophant. There's something here about... Yes, you want some kind of heavy, big progress. You are getting in any way. You know, like someone here who speed out on the, uh, the highway. They get to the destination probably five minutes earlier or a couple minutes earlier. But somebody here is telling you, you anyway get where you need to be. You don't need to push yourself to, to the, the point when you can function. You don't need to beat up yourself. It's kind of learn to listen to others too. For some of you, there is someone around you or will come around you as a teacher or as a guide that they gone through already whatever you're going through. Yes, you want to become better than, your, than someone and that's fine. But Spirit says, learn from others' mistakes. You will have time to make your own, believe it or not. Because 
jumping off or doing something shortcuts might not be beneficial to you and your stability okay so let's see here look at this three cards seven of wands eight of pentacles ten of swords learn to bring some kind of balance between the things could be between work home or family home work things like that even though you love even though you want to there's something here that you you need to accept that the balance to get things going is needed even though you cannot go so fast or so quick because look at here seven of wands eight of pentacles and the ten of swords. that's just one person this is very much you yes might be other people around you but it's kind of you 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 make this you kind of it's up to me how i'm doing the things it's up to me how i'm dealing or making these things or so on but spirit says think of you if you don't want to listen others all right loves so these are very very important energies to to look up to in 2024 cancerians you have a blessed year and i'll see you next time bye for now